$30,000 on makeup. Apparently, this is what the French president spent his first three months in office. A lot of people are upset. I get it. This is a little bit to the extreme. But if we go look on the other side, most men aren't taking care of their face. They're not taking care of their skin. That's the purpose of today's video, gentlemen, to talk about the seven mistakes that men commonly make when it comes to their skincare. Mistake number one, not wearing sunblock on your face and on your neck. The sun is going to cause premature aging. Okay. I know that you've heard maybe that one before, but did you know that you need to be looking for a sunblock with a high concentration of zinc oxide? Why? Let's talk about UVA rays, UVB rays. So most sunblocks out there, they're made to block UVB rays. Makes sense because those are the rays that are going to cause the burn, but it's the UVA rays that go deeper into the skin, which are going to cause premature aging. You want to be looking for sunblocks that have a high concentration of zinc oxide. And when you find that, you're going to get a much better protection from the sun when it comes to aging. Mistake number two, gentlemen, stop popping your pimples with those dirty fingers. You know what I'm talking about over there trying to pop that pimple and yeah, you may get something that comes out, but you're also pushing part of that pus right back in and this can lead to a deeper, worse infection. Instead, simply take a rag, wet rag, warm rag, go right over and it should naturally relieve itself. If it doesn't, it's not ready to come out. Now, I know some of you guys are saying, Antonio, that's not enough. Okay, here are some additional steps. So, you can also go ahead and take a cold compress. Maybe take a tea bag that was in the fridge, was wet and was in there for 15, 20 minutes, a little bit cool, put it on there for three to four minutes. Let it basically work on the inflammation to bring it down. Then you can take a Q-tip. You can run a Q-tip over that, make it wet if necessary, but what you're looking to do is just rub it over very softly. Again, your fingers are not touching. Another option is to do a spot treatment. This is if you've got a little bit more time from a few hours to maybe overnight, but you're looking for a solution that's got about a 1 to 2 percent salicylic acid in it. I probably butchered that word. I'm going to put it down in the description, talk about it, but you're looking to go into a drugstore, pharmacy, simply ask for particular products that are made to help Basically, they go into the pimple, they open up the pore and they allow it to basically naturally relieve itself. Mistake number three that men make when it comes to skincare, they don't leverage the power of estheticians. Most men don't even know what an esthetician is. These are licensed skincare professionals who every single day see about 10 different people who have different skin issues. Think about the power of that. You go in there, this person has maybe 10 years of experience. They have seen thousands of people. They can tell you very quickly what's causing that skin element on your face. Why do you have that rough skin? And they can immediately diagnose and recommend treatment. They're going to maybe recommend, okay, we need to do a hydro massage here, or maybe we need to do a deep cleaning, or maybe we need to use a microdermabrasion tool. Basically, they're going to go in, they're going to diagnose and they're going to start the treatment. So, another thing I love about estheticians is you can find them almost anywhere. It doesn't matter you're in a small town, big city, go to a spa, you oftentimes find a licensed esthetician. One thing I don't like about spas, treatments can be expensive. We're talking $200 for a single microdermabrasion treatment. Microdermabrasion, if you're not familiar, basically it's a specialty tool that goes over and smooths out the skin. If you find that this is going to work for you guys, you need to check out PMD Man. They're the paid sponsor of today's video and for almost two years, I've been working with them. I've met the CEO and more importantly, I had a local esthetician. We took this product, we tested it out, we looked at it. She was like, this is the real deal. Guys, down in the description of this video, I'm going to link over. I've got a special discount code. Go use it. Like I said, guys, PMD Man is an at-home skincare tool that provides the same results as professional in-office microderm abrasion treatments. Basically, the tool combines the power of skin exfoliation with vacuum suction. It helps to remove dead, dull skin and it increases the blood flow, which is then going to stimulate the body's natural production of collagen and elastin. In a nutshell, guys, if you're looking to have smoother, clearer skin, definitely check out this personal microderm. I'm going to link to it down in the description. Use that discount code for a great deal. Mistake number four that men make when it comes to skincare, they don't have a cleaning, cleansing routine. Now, that last part is really important. Routine. This is a schedule. This is a ritual. This is something you do again and again consistently and that's important because routines can be adjusted. They can be measured. You can test out various products. And this is important because 
our skin is going to react differently to different cleaning products, to different moisturizers, to different lotions. You want to make sure that you're testing this out. When you have a routine, you can test things out over a set period and you can actually then look at the ingredients and say, hey, this worked out really well, but I wish it wouldn't be so oily. So, I want something with about these same ingredients, but I don't want it to be so oily. Another thing with your routine, look at the time that you're doing this. You may find, hey, the routine for me that really works is when I basically cleanse, wash, do all that stuff with my face in the evening. And I think evenings are best for most people. Gentlemen, have a routine, have a schedule because then you can change it up to best suit your needs. Mistake number five, not paying attention to your diet, what you put into your mouth and how that has an effect on your skin. Now, a lot of guys maybe are a little bit skeptical about this. Like, I can eat anything. I'm a garbage can. I'm going to process it and I'll be able to take it. Well, that may work when you're younger, but as you get older, things start to change. But what's funny is I found that it was having kids and dealing with babies and seeing how when they're introduced to foods for the first time, how they can have crazy reactions. That's why with babies, the first one of the first foods is oftentimes a banana because bananas, yeah, they really don't have too much of a reaction on the skin. You introduce a baby to strawberries way too early, you can get a lot of reactions. And this is something that it changes over time. It can affect us at various points in our life. So, you may find that, hey, there's certain foods I eat that all of a sudden just really cause me to break out. If you understand that, you can change it. Mistake number six, using a dirty pillowcase. Now, guys, let's be honest. How long has it been since you've washed your pillowcase, since you've washed your sheets? Hopefully, it has been in the last week because think about that. This is something that every single night you're putting your head on, you're rubbing your face against it for hours at a time and you're rubbing skin off onto this. That's assuming that you're going to bed clean. If you're not, if you're not showering before you're going to bed, you're bringing in dirt. There are things that could be living in that pillowcase and in those sheets. Gentlemen, clean them wash them. Maybe even look at getting a pillowcase that has a very high thread count, something that maybe uses a synthetic material or uses something like silk that is going to be basically more resistant to pieces of food or pieces of skin getting lodged in there. But definitely wash and clean every week. At least change your pillowcase. But guys, at the end of the day, clean bed sheets. Mistake number seven, not knowing the name of your dermatologist because most of you guys don't have a dermatologist. You maybe have never even seen a dermatologist. But on a serious note, guys, go see your dermatologist at least once a year. What you want to do is get a quick check over. They're looking for any type of moles, any type of growth, any type of potential cancer. We're talking serious illnesses that can be prevented if they're caught in time. And this is when you can ask some of those other questions. You can ask about that pimple that's been here for a year and doesn't seem to, you know, be able to relieve itself. You can ask about maybe that wart on your hand which you've been trying to get rid of and you've cut off three times and keeps growing back. Go see a dermatologist. It's not, I, I know a lot of you guys are averse to going to doctors, but it is something, this is your body. Take care of it. All right, gentlemen, now it's your turn. Let me know down in the comments, what mistakes did I miss? What would you have added to this list? How could I have made this video better? And don't forget, go check out PMD Man. Great company, proud to have them as a sponsor. I've met the CEO. We have had this tested by local estheticians. It's a great product. So, if you're looking for a personal microderm tool, this is going to save you money. And guys, also, let me know what you think of uh, the French president spending that much money. And to give him a little bit of credit, I know that he spent a lot of that on the person's travel fees. Not all of it was spent on product. You know, I do think it is still very extreme, but when it comes down to it, you need to take care of your body, your skin. This is the largest organ on your body. And it's something that you are, this is all you have for the rest of your life. So, definitely take care of it. Go see a dermatologist, go see an esthetician. Guys, take care of your body. That's it, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.